All right, so on March 14th, 2024, the National Association of Realtors reached a $418 million settlement that basically resolved a dozen antitrust lawsuits. Now, most of these lawsuits revolved around the concept of tying, where the buyer's agent commission is actually tied to the listing because it's the seller and the listing agent who determine what the buyer's agent commission is gonna be. So the argument is that because the seller sets the buyer's agent commission, it prevents competition among buyer's agents because the commission is already set. And also it prevents buyers from negotiating their commissions because the commissions are already set. Another argument was that buyer's agents were actually steering their clients towards properties that offered a higher commission and that sellers in turn felt incentivized to offer a higher commission to buyer's agents to attract more buyers. As part of the settlement, MLSs will be prohibited from displaying how much commission a seller is willing to pay to a buyer's agent and buyer's agents will be required to have signed agreements with buyers stating what their commission is gonna be. So how does this all look in practice? I mean, one suggestion was that buyer's agents can actually get paid by the hour. Now, I hope I don't need to tell you why that's a bad idea, but the question still remains, what is the best course of action if you're looking to buy or sell? Well, over the next few days, I'm gonna go over the exact advice that I'm gonna to give to my buyers and sellers for the upcoming changes. And if you wanna stay ahead of the game, if you're looking to buy or sell, follow me for more. My name is Ian Chandler. I'm a real estate broker here in California.